Berlin is a 90 minute flight from Warsaw, so I arrived fairly quickly. We are on our way to the hostel. I am staying near the East Side Gallery. I found this hostel on hostelworld.com. I use this site and Airbnb for pretty much all my accommodations when traveling. This is the place and here's a quick tour of the room. I booked five days and four nights for $226. I reserved a private suite even though there are all these beds in here. This is what they had left. Here's a better view of Berlin. You can see the Berlin television tower. And now I'm just going to rest up a bit before my dinner plans this evening. A few hours later, I met up with some girls at this restaurant called Zosche. They serve Russian cuisine and of course the pelmene section caught my eye. These are the Russian dumplings that look a lot like pierogi. So I ordered this pelmene stuffed with cheese and potatoes, which I highly recommend. Afterwards, we bought drinks from a local shop and I fell in love with this Irish cider. I didn't do too much because we have to wake up early for our walking tour. I know it sounds so fun. I booked a three hour walking tour for $23.90 dollars that is and you can see the Berlin Cathedral there. We made our way to Museum Island which consists of five museums. You could literally spend all day here and that's probably a good idea because you can buy a multi-entry ticket and save money and knock it out in a few hours. Next we went to Bebel Platz, home of the Berlin State Opera House and you can see Humboldt University across the way. And I found it interesting that Albert Einstein lectured for a few years there. Now you'll see a lot of people stop here for quite a few reasons. One reason is this is the site of the public book burning of 1933 by the Nazi German Student Union. And there's a memorial here to recognize the significance of that event. And that's one thing that really stood out during this trip. The city makes an effort to leave markers and evidence of the past. Although some are grim reminders, they believe it's important the events that took place are not forgotten. One memorial I won't forget is the memorial to the victims of war and tyranny, depicting a mother holding her deceased son. There's an opening in the ceiling to symbolize the mother being exposed to all the elements, including the elements of war. So as part of the exhibit, when it rains, the statue is rained on, when it snows, it's covered in snow. One of the most powerful memorials I witnessed during this tour. Hey guys, it's October 3rd. It's a German national holiday. It's actually German Unity Day, which commemorates the anniversary of the reunification of former West Germany and former East Germany. So we're gonna go to Platz de Republic at some point in the day. Uh, apparently that's where a lot of the celebration takes place. Not sure how it will look due to COVID, but we are gonna go in that direction today and, and see what we can see. Also, we're going to Museum Island. Um, it's a place that I visited during yesterday's walking tour. And apparently there's a bust of Nefertiti, which I didn't know I really was so interested in. But when I found out it was here, I, I have to go see it. Sec thirdly, are we on number three? Thirdly, uh, we are also going to this chocolate house. I'll put it up here. Shout out to Unique Monique on Instagram. She recommended this place, a girl of chocolate. So we will also be going there. Last thing before we get started with today, um, if you are interested in shopping at all, I found out that Berlin is really into the vintage fashion. So I went to this place called Humana. And there are multiple locations across Berlin. I went to the one in Alexander Platz and I bought the shirt yesterday because I needed a shirt because your girl did not pack properly. So I got this shirt for eight euro. Um, so I recommend if you are looking for either vintage things or just gently used things for the cheap or you forget a shirt or anything like that, check out Humano, okay? So we're gonna jump on this uh, tram and get our day started.
So I'm here with Hi. You... Say your name, girl. Uh, so... Hello. <laughs> And Coco. I met Coco in Warsaw and she told me she was coming this weekend to Berlin. So I linked up, we synced up our weekends, yeah. all right? Nice. So we're okay. gonna find some authentic German cuisine. Yes, we are. I don't know the name of the restaurant, but it has two dollar signs, not three or four. <laughs> <laughs> so that is very important. So we'll see you guys there. So we chose this restaurant because of price and reviews. I got to try a raspberry Berliner Kindle Weiss, which was created in Germany. Unfortunately, the food was a little disappointing, so I wouldn't recommend it. If you do have recommendations for good German cuisine in Berlin, please drop those below so I'll know where to go next time. Hey guys, it's Sunday. Yesterday after dinner, I came back to the room, laid down, and I never got back up. Okay, I was supposed to go to Hotel Adelin. There's a bar and lounge there. Hotel Adelin is where President Obama stays, Queen Elizabeth stays, and it's where Michael Jackson dangled that baby years ago. So I just wanted to go into the bar at Hotel Adelin, have a drink, and be able to say, you know, I'm, I'm at the Adelin. But unfortunately, due to restrictions, due to the pandemic, it is closed. So that's just life at the moment. You know, so many restrictions. Bars, restaurants are open. Uh, you just have to wear a mask when you're maneuvering through the restaurant or the bar. Um, but if you're at your table having a drink, uh, eating, it's, it's fine. So apparently the bar in Hotel Adeline is, is just not open. So today, uh, because I went to sleep fairly early, one of the perks, you wake up fairly early, and we're going to a flea market. Now, I googled and there are multiple flea markets around the city. I'm going to the one at Mauer Park. After that, I want to go, if it's open, I want to go to the Berlin Cathedral. They have an observation deck where you can get a nice view of the city for five euro. Um, afterwards, there's another museum that I'd like to see. And you know, typically on Sundays, museums are open. It's usually Mondays or Tuesdays that they're, well, usually Mondays that they're closed. And you might be thinking, Jasmine, you really love museums. This is just me. I do enjoy going to the museums because I want to learn about where I am. I basically want to know where I am, know the events that occurred, the significance of those events, and know that when I'm standing in a place, it was only this spot, only this spot in the entire world is where that place, uh, is where that event occurred. And so it makes you look at things differently. It makes you appreciate things differently. Um, and so I just, that's just how I like to experience the city. So I could go from place to place to place. Oh, there's a building, there's a street. Oh, look at that car. But like for me, it just puts everything in an entire different perspective if I know the significance behind individual landmarks, individual events, and even individual holidays. So that's just how I move. You could travel how you like to travel, but this is just how I like to do things, okay? So with enough of that rambling, we're gonna go ahead, find um, a way to Mauer Park. After the cathedral, I went to Chicago Williams because I could not resist American barbecue. I ordered the half chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and what they claimed was gravy. They tried it. But they had so many other mouth-watering items on the menu, I'd go back just to try something else. Y'all, 
it's Monday. It's our last day in Berlin. I'm packed up. I'm ready to go to the airport. And I thoroughly enjoyed my trip. I got to see pretty much everything I wanted to see. If I had to talk about the highs and the lows, uh, the high would definitely be seeing the bust of Queen Nefertiti. The low would be Berlin's public transportation. I got the 60 euro fine in like the first two hours of being here. The ticket police on the Metro, y'all are heartless. All right, heartless. But that was just a low. That was just the low of the trip. Everything else was great, okay? If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to drop a comment below. Make sure you're subscribed if you are not subscribed. You can follow me on Instagram at jasmint underscore TV. And I will see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, just a quick reminder that you can go to jasminttv.com. If you have questions, you can schedule time with me. If you have questions about moving abroad, leaving your comfort zone, how I was able to leave my comfort zone so easily, um, you can schedule, you can select a date and time. I get lots of questions and I think this is the fairest way for everyone involved. You can also scroll the site for additional information. And now you can accessorize your travel life. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. So finally, there are products on jasminttv.com. Just check it out. I hope you guys enjoy what you see. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.